Hello everyone, thank you for watching. Well, today is a beautiful day out, and this is not in formal blog, uh, not in my motorcycle, as you can see. Uh, turns out last night, last night coming home, uh, I get on the expressway and I start smelling burning. I look on my mirrors and I see a trail of smoke leading out of the back of my bike I was like oh my god what the hell happened so I quickly got over and got off on the rest area Hampton base and it turns out uh, that bike had a very bad case of uh, previous owner syndrome uh, in this could have been avoided if I would have uh, done something about it a little sooner. Turns out uh, when I went to change the oil uh, last, I discovered that the drain plug was a little stripped. But uh, when I put it back, it was holding on. So what I did, it, uh, it didn't have a gasket. That's first of all, that's the main thing. I should have just run to the store right then and there and grab a... A drain plug with a gasket but at that at that time I didn't know what size it was because I just had the bike so what I did is I took some uh, thread tape Teflon tape and put a whole bunch over the threads and screw it back on and it said it said firmly you know I thought that it was it was firmly I mean it lasted all the way up to yesterday which turns out the past couple of weeks I've been noticing a little drip coming from the bike, from underneath the bike, and I'm thinking that it was a drain plug, but I looked, I sprayed some uh, W, not W40, uh, degreaser, clean it up, and started the bike up, and waited, and waited, and I didn't see nothing coming out from the drain plug. It seemed to only do it when I was, when the bike was hot, running, and I just come over for a, for a ride. So, okay, I, I figured yesterday, uh, I was gonna go to uh, to the store. I was gonna get some uh, oil. And Friday, I was on my way home. I was gonna bring a drain plug, but uh, I was gonna bring a couple of drain plugs. One that it was the the original size, and which is 14 millimeters by 1.25, and an oversized one in case the the, the threads on the oil pan and the motorcycle were uh, were screwed up as well. Because that I didn't get that far last year when I uh, when I discovered that the drain plug was a little stripped. So okay, I take off, go home, and I see all the up smoke puking out of the back of my bike. When I pull over the rest area, see my uh, my rear tires all drenched in oil, and I see the oil rushing from underneath the bike, and I was like, oh shit. So, uh, yep, my suspicions were confirmed. Uh, drain plug had backed itself out and fell out into the middle of this highway somewhere. And I was left stranded. It was about 6 o'clock in the afternoon. I started calling people, calling people, see who can uh, give me a, a tow to my house because I didn't want to leave the motorcycle there. And I couldn't find anybody that, that were available at that time. Only one person was available. But he said after 9 o'clock at, at night. And it was only 6 o'clock. And what was I going to do for 3 hours? Uh, I, I had already called my wife and told her to come for me. And I was just going to wait there till the guy showed up. I called him and told him, alright, I'll wait for you until 9. I have no choice. And um, I figure, okay, I'll wait for him. When my wife got there, and before she got there, I was looking. There's an advanced auto parts store right close to where I was, but they were closing at 6. It was already after 6, so that's, that wasn't an option. So I figure, all right, I'll take a ride back to Riverhead. That's the town that I worked on. I know the auto zone stays open late. So I went to AutoZone and see if they had any drain plugs. My uh, 
my plan was to go in and get a uh, universal drain plug those uh, it's like a big rubber plug that you pull over the, the hole and then you start tightening tightening the, the nut and the plug starts to get big big until it fills the the hole that's a universal oil drain plug and I grabbed as well the original drain plug which it was 14 by 125 and I grabbed an oversized 14 by 1.50 and that one had a uh, oversized mean it has its own thread and it makes its own thread as it's going in so it goes from small to big and uh, I grabbed three quarts of oil because uh, I just wanted to get the bike home and I went back to uh, where the bike was uh, stranded uh, first tried the original plug and yep the threads were all gone on the oil pan so I next tried the oversized plug uh, to make its own thread and that worked the 14 by 1.5 um, worked made its own thread but I didn't have any tools on me except for the tools that are on the, the seat the toolkit that came with the bike and I only had a pair of pliers to uh, to screw the, the uh, drain plug in. So I screwed it in as much as I could until it got so tight that I couldn't spin it anymore with the pliers. Still, the gasket wasn't sitting against the, the block, but I was able to put oil in it and drive my bike back home. But I decided not to take it today because still missing two quarts of oil and I still need to uh, get that drain plug seated perfectly against the, the oil pan which I'm gonna do probably tonight when I get home so I don't miss a day of riding but I thought that it was gonna rain anyway so I didn't worry about it but yeah and that's my uh, my scare for last night I thought that I blew the motor on my bike but I was uh, smart enough to uh, to pull over before uh, any damage was done to it so uh, the worst thing about it is my uh, all the oil went to the back tire and I felt the back tire slipping. That was scary. Then on my way home I was really careful not to go over the speed limit just in case my bike starts to slip. I can catch it. My wife followed me all the way home and I got home. Another thing about the bike, uh, you saw me that I put carburetors in and I'm um, um, messing because the bike is not wanted to idle correctly and I was pulling my hairs out thinking what the hell else it could be I cleaned up the, the carburetor really well the carburetors um, when I took the, the cover of the new carburetor that I got in there the jets were brand new, it looks like he, the carburetor was just rebuilt, <clears throat> but the bike still didn't want to uh, idle any, any buckles and it runs rough. So the other day, I'm sitting there, the bike's already cooled down, I was uh, stopped for about four or five hours. Before I went to put the cover on, I figured I ain't gonna start it up and just hear it run for a little bit before I put the cover on it and I hear uh, the sound of uh, what is called spark jumping if you don't know uh, what spark jumping means uh, in cars when you have a bad spark plug wire um, the spark would jump off the, the cable and into the block and cause the car to run rough and miss and that's what I was hearing. I was hearing a spark jumping. So I moved the cables and I went one by one until I got to one of the cables. And when I moved the cable, push it in with my uh, with my finger, the sound stopped and the bike smoothed out. Completely smooth and idle. And idle as slow as I could put it, I could screw the, unscrew the idle screw as slow as I could and the bike still idle and run. And now a son of a bitch, I found what the problem was. Uh, on that bike, the plugs, wires are part of the coil. 
so I have to end up jumping on eBay and looking for a coil and the only thing I could find was a used coil uh, for power plug 2 and 3 which is the one that is messed up power plug number 2 was the one causing the issue I order it I think I might get it today if it doesn't come today it's gonna come tomorrow but uh, I found the problem and probably Saturday uh, you're gonna see me uh, doing um, an installation of the coil uh, I'm gonna change the oil filter because uh, the bike now has fresh oil I'm gonna buy two more quarts of oil I got the filter already I'm just gonna do that on Sunday on um, Saturday if it doesn't rain that's gonna be my plan for the morning and I'll make a video out of that and another turn of events um, I think I think the problem with iMovie is not iMovie itself is my uh, internet service provider with the uh, with the upload speeds um, I think uh, there's a problem in the neighborhood somewhere because sometimes It'll, uh, the upload speed will be up to like almost 50 megabytes and then it'll, another times it'll be like below 5 megabytes and normally it should be between 15 and 25 until they implement that symmetric upload speed like Verizon uh, files but in the meantime I just got a bite my tongue and just keep it the way it is until they decided to come check it out because I, uh, I was on hold with customer service for a while and they couldn't find nothing wrong they're gonna send somebody to look at my uh, my lines so yep that's about it look that's about all I have to say for today uh, again you can uh, look at my uh, channel you can subscribe comment uh, any suggestions are work uh, welcome uh, this is classic by rider signing off oh by the way you can follow me now uh, Facebook uh, facebook.com forward slash classic by rider and you can follow my page there all right thank you guys for watching see ya